Welcome Wolfpack to Method Field at NC State University where the men's club soccer team will be facing off against the UNC men's club soccer team. It's a balmy day, a bit of wind, uh, the cloud cover is rather ominous and uh, potential for rain later on but hopefully fingers crossed that there will be no rain and we can stay for a dry nice match. I'm Nathan White Ingram and with me is Tyler Counts. Let's have a good game everybody. Let's do it. Pitch conditions today are somewhat dry. Doesn't seem to be too uh, too wet out there, but uh, with the potential for rain, it's dangerous. And we're underway. Chapel Hill with the starting possession here. Moving the ball out wide. Got potential on the wing. Potentially looking for a ball inside. Yeah, good turn. It's a strong tackle there. Good move. Oh, and that looks to be a NC State throw in. Yep. It's a great move there on the side. Yeah, quick footwork, very important to have that when you're playing a lovely game of soccer. Thrown in. Touch gone slightly up. UNC are trying to win the ball back there. Another poor touch there from number 12. Yep. And UNC have got the ball back again now. Good win again from the right back. That was Joey got inside. Oh, not quite good enough there. You can see again with the ball, it's a fast paced game so far. Moving the ball just down the field, nothing will come of that. And the goalkeeper will slowly collect that with his feet. Moves it out wide to the left side. Finds the man in the middle. Oh, that's pulled down. The referee's blown his whistle, as I'd expected. As we can see, the intensity is quite high already. Thoughts, Tyler? Um, you know, it's kind of predicted to have a high intensity game. It's UNC versus State, so something to keep an eye on for the rest of the game, uh, especially as. Draws closer to half and towards the tail end. If it's still tied up 0 0, even if they are down a goal, try to break even. Absolutely, here. absolutely. More of a move forward there. Oh, tough battle, tough contest there. Well done. Goal kick, Frenchy State. Adam Cosgrove could not quite reach the ball there on the flank. Swinging the ball around the back here. Potentially looking for an open gap, maybe slide the ball through to their forward for the centre mid there. Good touch. Finds another good through pass. Good skill there. Good strength as well. The decisions here from the State Boys look very good there. Looking for possession, I like it. It's very positive minded. They are going backwards, but that's alright, you know, that's you've got to go back to go forward sometimes. Indeed, indeed. It's always good to get some link up play in the back to mm. build it through. For sure. Good ball through. It's a nice long ball. Great run. Can you take advantage? Oh, oh good tackle there. Oh, looks like there's been some waving the lines with the flag there. That'll be a Chapel Hill kick. Ball out wide. Adam Cosgrove again doing well on the, on the flank for Chapel Hill. So NC State throw. I'm liking the intensity here. Good movement. It's a good throw forward. Can he put a cross in? Seems to be no one in the box. He's done well to get by, perhaps the first one. That's pinged around. Chapel Hill seemed to almost be saved, but not yet. Trying to get wide with it. It's a good decision. Oh, well done there. It's a good strong tackle there. Beautiful tackle. Trying to, trying to work their way past those defenders, but having a lot of difficulty there, State. Chapel Hill win the ball again, still with possession. The ball's tried to look forward, but good stop there. That was just a poor effort From Griffin Brookshire. Another ball out wide there. He's gone for a nice short pass. Good acceleration forward. Trying to find a way through, can't quite. And they've done it somehow. And uh, no, nope, that's be offside. That'll be difficult. I think they might be working offside track for, for the most of the game. Is you know it's high level, mm. and it's expected for the understanding to be there for sure. <coughs> Jonah Mulligan sliding out here to defend against uh, the Chapel Hill player, Jack Trippier. I wonder if he's in any relation to Kelly and Trippier. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Ball's slowly being pinged around the back there. Bit of a bit of shocking touch there from the centre back for Chapel Hill. Strong tackle there, well done. Rip it. Kind of a strike. Hit the post. Right off. Back again. Good save from the goalkeeper. Well done. That's just unlucky. Right Connell Gallagher post. with the first strike there and uh, Jonah Mulligan with the second attempt. 
watch out for a goalkeeper. Justice Heiser with a good stop. It's a big ball down the field. Contested well. State seem to have gained possession there. Can they keep control of it now? Is Jonah Mulligan again? I'm really liking Having trouble getting by. Here. Yeah, I'm liking the intensity from both teams for sure. NC State pushing forward well. Controlling the ball midfield is important as well. NC State's intensity playing up high on the field is. Tyler Conrad is seem to be controlling the midfield well. Yeah. Something to take a look at because easily could get beaten on a quick counter attack if they have too many men forward. Griffin Brookshire, that big centre half there, just passed the ball out wide. Now it's moving forward down the field. Well done there. Can he find a pass out wide? It looks to be it. Yep, that's a foul. Expected there. It's a very big free kick coming up. Now, what, what are you expecting here from the state boys? You think maybe it'd be a strike on goal or a ball across into the box or a header? Um, from this location, I do think this probably go. They're trying to go, go up corner, far side of the goal. All right, top left. All right, a reasonable, reasonable decision there. Good choice. They've got three men over the ball there. But I mean, they could even try to get that's like a nice little cross in. Got number 16, number 10. Yeah. Tall guys over there on that side, so. They could even have got the ball back and have someone smack it from more and more central position. Ball's in. It was on goal, oh. but not quite on goal. Past the post there. That was a great effort there, though. That was a good nice idea. Curl. Didn't see, had a lot of curl, yes, but it didn't seem to have too much power on it, so I think if it was on frame, <coughs> the goalkeeper would not have had too much trouble there, I don't think. I agree with that. Ball's moved out quickly to the right-hand side. Moving up the field here, trying to turn. Good defending there from the State boys. Well done from the, uh, the left back and the centre midfielder. On the, tightly on his back there. Good win in the air. Oh, referee seen something there. I wasn't quite sure about it, but it looked it like a little push on, push on the back. Potentially there. a push. Ball's gone backwards off the kick. Looking for a potential switch of the ball. Kept on the ground. Got into a little bit of trouble there. Can the boys pick it up here? Collected it well. Move forward. Not quite got the possession they want there. Chapel Hill back on the ball. Going inside. Dropping the ball backwards. Ooh, running more trouble there. State's impressive high pressure will hopefully reward them. Ball in the middle now. Going forward, good pass outside. Ball back in, finish. No, not quite. Unfortunate. Good defending there from the Chapel boys, but we're still alive. Possession of the final third is going to be crucial. He's looking for another pass here, but no one's come to help him. So that'll be an NC State throw in. Potential for a, for a long throw. No, it's gone short. These options finds him inside, but he turned. So switch out to the right, brought down well. Good pass inside, no one there to collect it except my Chapel Hill player. Looking for a long ball through. Mm. Speed, good control there. Adam Cosgrove trying to work some magic, couldn't quite get by the defender. That's a great stab there. From yep, it was the decision to, you know, stab for the ball is something you don't always want to make too too early, as you can be lost out of place and the ball goes right by you, but he did well there. Good decision, good timing. Slowly taking his time to take this throw in. Looks like it's going to be a long throw. It looks like he's going to go long. He's gone somewhat decently long into the box. Headed on. Mm. Not quite cleared away very well. Attempt on goal. And that's a goal. Yeah. Chapel Hill have scored here at Method Field. It is now 1-0 to UNC Chapel Hill. Goal scored by Matthew Messi, the central midfielder, number eight. Didn't really see much ever there from our uh, nope. state keeper to even make an attempt to dive at that. That seemed no, like a nice little soft shot. Rather disappointing. It was it was nicely placed, having said that, you know, on that uh, left side. But um, not quite anything I would consider too challenging. But also, if they, they had been more successful, the state boys getting the ball out the back there, clearing it well, they would have been better off, but not quite had the opportunity to do that well. Pass the ball back. Looking to be in a little bit of trouble here. The high press now from the Chapel Hill men. Control to the back. Trying to move wide here. 
back inside again. The State Boys, who I thought had a more of a controlling presence at the beginning of the game, very early on, have seemed to have l l let go a little bit. It's in the midfield for sure. And control of the midfield is very important for the rest of the game and, and controlling the attack and defending and everything. Jack Trippier passing the ball back to the centre back there. And back outside of Jack Trippier again. Could he potentially look for a ball long? He's gone long. I expected a ball across, but he's gone forward with it. It's good strength, good battle there between the two. Keeper comes for it. And that's headed on by a Chapel Hill player. They really need to get rid of it and get control of the game a bit more. Energy State boys. Back to the middle again. Look Slow rolling there. ball out wide. He's got time to play back to Trippier. Trippier's gone for the, over the right run. overlapping run. Good ball across. Ball's back in again to the middle. Cleared out well then by number 19. Tyler Conrad. It's a great link up play. <laughs> Moving forward on the right flank here. Trying to push the ball just by their left back, but not successful as it's run out of bounds. Thrown in quickly. Gone short. Back out to him. And inside now. Looking for a switch. Playing the ball across the back there. Not as accurate as he'd hoped there, but he's got options now. Gone forward with it. Well done there. Telegraph that pass. Can he have a strike? Pull back in again. Some poor communication there from the state boys. Yeah, and now it's moving forward now. On the wing. And back again to Trippier. Trippier again. I think he's, he looks like he's going to be more in control of some things today. Mm -hmm. Ball keeps going back through him and towards him as well. Ball's gone forward. Good header there. It's a great header. Moving forward again. Getting stuck with the ball, ball underneath his feet there. Sort of out number two to one. And again, the Chapel Hill team has managed to come up with the ball. And it's out to Trippier on the right side again, as I was just mentioning. Ball seems to be going through him quite a lot. And the ball's gone forward. Not, not that accurate, but it seems to be a competition for sure. But great defending from the NC State man there. Notice based on this right now, it looks like the benefit for UNC on defense is they're running a 4-3-3 holding. Yeah. Yep, they got that number 19 there, holding most of the midfield. The number Henry Hannibal. Ball being pushed forward into the middle again. They're looking for something else to get them out of trouble. It's gone across the field. Controlled. Looking for options now. He's head up, dribbling forward with quite a bit of pace, going to the middle of the field. Good split there, good turn as well. Moving forward now, tries for a little dink over the top, but a bit too much, I think the ball just bobbled up right before he's about to hit that to the goalkeeper's hands. Passing the ball out now, oh, good defending again. The NC State attackers are very good at winning the ball there. Pass back to the goalkeeper. Got two subs right here in front of me. Drew. Do you think they'll make a make an impact early in the game? Maybe you turn know, turn it turn the game around. I mean, it's a good there on the wing, right and that's out. Yeah, they look confident for sure. Who knows? Maybe Drew put a goal in the back of the net. We have seen him do some magical things before, Drew De Savano. Yep, very skillful yeah. on the ball. Quite a good acceleration, nice pace, good finesse when it comes to putting the ball in the back of the net. So let's hope that maybe he'll be able to do that today. Indeed. Be a Chapel Hill throw. Adjusting his socks and chimpanzas, as, as one must always do, before <laughs> taking a throw in, just to waste a little bit of time. You no, know, I've always wondered, they should just impose a time limit rule on throw ins. You, you think maybe like uh, so many seconds you can have before you can throw the ball in? Yeah, like. I think that's more, more able when they're a professional stand when they have ball boys and things, but. Indeed. Ball stayed in somehow. It's good work ethic from, from both sides. Ball's gonna cross now. Couldn't quite make anything out of it. One on, one on. Ball's gone wide. Back inside again. Having trouble getting out of his feet. Good strength. That's definitely a foul. Yep. Well done for the referee there. Good control of the game for sure. It was a foul on Tyler Conrad. Unfortunate for him to cut down the ground. Back up on the field now. 
trying to switch the swing the ball around nicely. Back inside again. Using uh, their central defenders quite well here with the switcher play. Brookshire with the ball, I believe. There's that's Griffin Brookshire. Back in the middle. Going forward strengthfully there. Fighting for the ball in the air. Aerial battle. Oh, that sounded bad. He's still come out of the ball though, goes for goal. Over the bar. Unfortunate. And here will be those substitutions we were talking about just a second ago. There are three of them coming on the field. Justin McPherson at seven, Ilias Domingo number six, Andrew De Stefano number th 13. And also it seems like we have number nine coming in. And number nine as well. Yep. Aaron Otter. Aaron Otter, Otter. yep. <laughs> Seem to be all attacking substitutions there. Perhaps they can, you know, create some potential skill and speed when going forward. Indeed. One thing to look out for is uh, De Serafino's touch with the ball. Very, very technical. He's cheeky a technical touch. player, yeah. Cheeky, cheeky is a good word to describe, yep. Yeah. One well. Moving forward. Oh, and that's the NC State kick. It looks like he went down there. Not sure if that was a, a potential head injury or not. Seems to be alright. He's clutching the back of his head. Seems like he'll be alright. Moving away. Have to be careful these days with the dangerous uh, injuries and head injuries and concussions, absolutely. They're taken a lot more seriously today than they were back when I was a lot younger. Indeed. Even though in the professional game a lot of players will try to act like they don't have the concussion to get back on the field because mm. they have that substitution limit. Yep. They have to play man down if that's the case. Balls forward. Come out with the ball. Ball back in now. It's gone slightly up. Not necessarily towards the goal but maybe there's something here. Strike. Just blocks everywhere from here from the Chapel Hill defenders. Very good defending. Get throwing themselves in front of it. Strike. Nothing's not going to come from that. Up in the air again. Poor clearance. Bit of a scrappy play out here at the moment. And they finally managed to kick the ball out. Up the field. Trying to win the ball. So the aerial battle again. Gone out wide now. It's a good decision there. Could he potentially get past him with a bit of skill? Trying to draw in the defender. He goes for an early cross. Nothing's come of it. It's a corner. Substitutions here. Seems to be as confusing. Most people don't allow for the substitution on the on the corner kick, but the referee's gone for it. Got number eight and number eleven coming in for NC State. That'll be Ben Nichols and uh, Patrick Bailey. NC State. And number five has come on the field of Chapel Hill. That is Holly Royland. Royland, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I hope. Chapel Hill corner. Ball in. It's a good ball. It's on frame. Keeper's done well to hold that. that Almost was very looked like lucky. he was surprised was, by it. Indeed. the ball coming straight to his hands there. But, yep, did well to hold on to it. Cause some goalkeepers do have the tendency to drop those. Indeed. So I think that's it's props very, to him for that. Very rare do we see a goal off a corner, also. Yeah. Yeah, unless it's headed in very powerfully right past the goalkeeper, but Indeed. you know, you do have the contestion up there. Ball's now at the other end of the field, the Chavo Hill goalkeeper. Pass the ball to the left, good pressure there. From number nine, Aaron Oda, up the top. On the left side now, the ball's gone, trying to go fast. They're trying to play that long ball, whether it's on the ground or on the, in, in the air, Chavo Hill players there. Indeed. Whereas the NC State boys are, you know, working the ball up the field quite nicely. Bits of touches there, dribbles there, you know, using the width. Cutting inside there. Good move. Ooh. It's unfortunate. UNC defences. Yeah, they're strong. Absolutely. They're good at, over there. good at stopping things and making sure nothing's getting by. Ball in now. Controlled on the wing. Can he put the ball back in? He's he gone for it. Kept on the ground, though. Can something come of this? Not quite again, as we were just saying, the brick wall is doing a very good job, and that's a Chapel Hill throw. Substitution now. Number four. Does not look like we have him on our roster. Coming off is Zach Durham, number 11 for Chapel Hill. Looks like an attacking left wing position again. So both teams have only made substitutions for their uh, offensive side of things. Good head there from number 11. That was a poor throw from Trippier. Ben Nichols, good win there. Ball back in the middle for Chapel Hill. Out wide again now. Trippier? Trippier. Passing the ball back. 
Good control there in the middle. Good decision. Interesting idea to play the ball. So up in the air there, but he's done well to keep that controlled. Moving forward, a bit of pace now. Gone wide again. Both teams have definitely used their width so far today very well, I think. Trying to find a way out of there. Slowing the game down just, just a little bit so everybody can catch their breath. And that's come nothing. Fortunate there. That'll be a Chapel Hill sub. Number nine, Jack Keeman is coming on the field now. Number 13, Olin Wilson. More uh, offensive players again. As we sort of expected. It does happen more or less this way. Defender, defenders tend to stay on the field for most of the game unless there's a formation change. Swung down the back now. The Trippier on the wing. Does find a good pressure. Good strength again there. From Aaron Otter. Trying to win the ball. Does find a high press again. Confusing those defenders. Good attempt at the tackle there. Struggling to win the ball, but Chapel Hill struggling to 100% retain that possession. Gone long now. It's a good decision, a good run. Keeper's coming out now. Well done. Good clearance on the goalkeeper. Beautiful clearance. It's definitely the best decision to make there. I've often seen goalkeepers try and take on the attacker and often ends poorly out now for a stake throw in. The good attempt there from Disafano to try and win the ball, but they have possession nevertheless. Good throw in. Trying hard to win it, but couldn't quite anything. Trippier now driving inside. Not too fast, but he's looking for a pass through. Nothing comes of it again. Good defending. Oh, he's lost the ball. Trying to find how to get the ball out now. This final comes back to help. Good work ethic there from that young man. Keeping it up there. Fantastic. Trippier with a big clearance up forward to the left side. It's a good touch there. Look at that lovely pass. Look at the awareness. Out wide now. Try to go inside with the pass, but nothing's come of that either. Chapel Hill now have the ball. Moving forward fast. Good pass back there. To Trippier. From Matthew Messi again. Trippier. Move back now. Trippier again. Ooh. Trippier again. Lovely footwork from the man. Put De, C De Serfino on skates. Passing the ball around the back now. Trippier again, just a final trying to press there. Done well. Perhaps won the ball for them there. Oh, nothing there from Aranada. Picked up again. Move back now. Richard Wright on the ball, slowing the game down, good long ball forward, look at that vision, that's excellent, Great run. Gone, wing, gone to the wing there, he put a ball in, decent ball, again Chapel Hill again, that's strong defending, wall. there's a brick wall up back I think there. the only way to maybe get a goal in here is to pull one of the defenders out and have a slot in from behind them, but that would be very difficult there, that, that seems to be difficult, they're well disciplined, they are working like and a unit. They're strong. Yeah, they are working like a strong unit. That's a be a Chapel Hill kick. Somewhat reckless of a challenge there from Aaron Odder. Not necessarily a, a clever idea, but he's gone for it anyway. The aggressiveness is appreciated. Of course, this is an aggressive sport. Pass back to the goalkeeper. Looking left now. Richard Wright on the ball. Interesting decision to go to the middle. And that's Matthew Messi. What can he do with the ball now? He already had one. He was looking for a second, but trying to be cheeky again and put the ball over over the bar. Looks like he was trying to tip the keeper there. He did. You know, as a striker, you had to be composed, and I think the, the best decision is not to necessarily go for that high cheeky chip shot, but to nice just place shot. it. Dri driven low. Even a toe poke will do the job, to be honest. As long as it goes past the goalkeeper, that's all you really want as a striker. Indeed. Perhaps his first goal is, is getting to him. Dribbling forward here, gone wide, good touch in, Chapel Hill have gained possession again now, trying to work the ball around now, lost possession there, Drew De Safano, what can he do with it, tried a little dink over the top, should have maybe controlled it, I'm liking the work ethic here from all the players in the field, it's very nice to see 
Scarlet Dove on the outside there, on that right wing. Been very effective trying to get past those defenders with his pace. Paul's gone forward. Passing the ball around now, trying to control the game a bit more. It's almost a, a fear tactic he's try they're trying to implement here, but not quite being too effective as the State Boys are not going to give up. They're relentless. Ball's come in. Good defending. Good block there. Nice clearance out. Chapel Hill still got possession again. Good high press there. Well done. Still in though. Still live. Ref, no whistle there. There's a call for handball. Stick with possession. Look back. Moving left now. Just to finish with a nice run, see if he gets the ball. It's a great pace there. From number 12, Jesse Ball. Just Gone out wide off. now. Ball in. Ooh, not quite. Just flicked on there. Still in though. And that'll be a state throw in it. Looks like. Yeah. Oh, no. Shall we all throw in? A little flick off the, off the state. state player. Coming on the field now will be. Uh, some state players and uh, Chapel Hill player as well. Number 20, Jonah Mulligan, who's quite influential when he was on a second a moment ago before the first load of substitutions. He's back on the field now. And also number 16. Yep, not on the roster either, Fred. <laughs> moving to the left side now, ball inside, picked up by Richard Wright. Good pass. Oh, I like the vision. It was trying to find Disafano's feet, but couldn't quite. Did trouble there, Chapel Hill player. Still got the ball. Trying to work their way out of this problem. Holly rolling, ball up. Jack Human passes the ball out of bounds. Trying to find Trippier, but couldn't quite. Couldn't quite do that. Thrown in now. Right. Controls. Potentially looking for a longer ball, but he's gone short instead. Nice crisp passing there. The State Boys. Oh, he seems to have given that away just as I was saying. Nice crisp <laughs> passing. Finding his way out of there well. Oh, and again, strong defending. Pass the ball away at the right time there. Needs to find a pass. Hasn't got many options here. He's found a Shafano in the middle. And he's lost the ball quickly. Strong play there from Ollie Woodland. The ball's trying to go forward. He's looking for perhaps a, a through ball, but no one is dead on it. On the end of that one. Cleared out now. That'll be a goal kick. Deflection off of the Chapel Hill player. Time for a sub. Coming out for UNC, we've got number 16, Tyler. I believe that's Thewin. Thewin? And coming in, it's going to be number 24, Nick Meal. Passed inside. One touch pass. He's <laughs> very difficult skill to master. He's done well there. The ball's come back out, though. Chapel Hill again going forward. Oh, that's a poor touch. I don't thought he was quite ready for it in his banana boots there, his yellow shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Thrown forward over to Safano's head. Poor One throw in. I'm liking the high press again from State. It's very nice to see. Lovely. The intensity is there. Back to the Chapel Hill goalkeeper. The clouds are getting darker as the potential of a th rain is threatening us still. One in the air. Good strength. No one really there. Just a fun of working hard against Trippier there. The matchup is a very good one for sure. Trying to go across the field again. Good turn. Oh, lost that. Good strength again there to win the ball back. Still has it. State moving forward. They potentially put a ball in. Done so. Oh. Deflected out. It's going to be a corner. Good defending again, Chapel Hill. They're, being, they're proving very hard to penetrate. They're an absolute unit back there. Even, even when they're closer in and further out, they're just strong defenders. I think there's a whole team. And it starts, you know, with their strikers. They're winning the ball off of the times that State are passing the ball out of the back. And it's just that again goes through the entire, entire team. Indeed. So it'll be a stake corner. Looks like we like a ball in. Headed out again. Proving that proving my point again. A time after time, the Chapel Hill defense is just so good. So we UNC throw in. Yep. 
number of uh, looks like parents and supporters are out here today, which is nice to see. Indeed. I wish it was a nicer day to play in, though, for sure. Oh yeah, so this frigid. My hands are cold, so I wonder how they're all feeling. <laughs> Good move there. Trying to win the ball back. Sliced clearance. I know that feeling. That's not the best one to have when you don't connect the ball with the, with the ball well. On the left side now, Justin McPherson trying to find the ball into the middle. Drew Justifano on the wing. Good pass out wide, Drew. What can he do with the ball? Gone dropped. Justin again. He's done well to get past his first defender, but the pass was inaccurate. Justifano trying to high press there. It's Trippier. Interesting ball back. Seems to be more tactical substitutions here from the Chapel Hill players. We'll be coming on next. Trippier with the ball. <coughs> Oh, an attempt to go forward has hit the hit the linesman as it's going out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't quite expecting that one. <laughs> Passed around the back here. Gone out wide. Looking inside now, trying to potentially draw out those defenders and the the uh, UNC attackers so they can put the ball over the top. Oh, again, that's dangerous to mess around with an attacker there, the goalkeeper, and he slipped on the ground. Keeping the short passing consistent though. Trying to cross the ball around there. Back of the defenders. Can they look out wide? Richard right now. He seems to be the leader at the back from what I've seen so far of this game. Moving forward now. Good straight arms seem to be flying everywhere. Good decision from the referee. Keeping control of the game well. Pass forward quickly, nice and short, seems surprising for both teams. Lack of communication there for sure. More could have come from that, I think. It was rather disappointing. Pass back. And Nick Meal playing that holding mid holding position there for Chapel Hill, just slowly controlling the passing back and forth between the left and right side. Substitution now, Chapel Hill. Number 11, Zach Durham, will be coming on the field. Looks like he's going to be playing left wing. be interesting to see whether he's got an injection of pace that will speed by the NC State defenders, but uh, perhaps he won't be able to do so. He's coming on a bit, bit more fresh legs now. He's already got the ball and lost it that quickly. Moving left now. So now he's going to go cross the ball to the right side. Well, he get there. Not mm. quite. A bit over hit there. You can tell by the way he struck the ball, he wasn't necessarily sure if he was hitting towards. Just even there were people over there, he was going to go for him. Indeed. I mean, it's a good idea. I've had those days myself when you do overhit the ball. You can't be perfect every time. It does seem like we have about two and a half minutes left in this first half of play. Still 1 0 to Chapel Hill. Ball's gone short. Long ball forward. It's a good header. Bit of ping pong there, back and forth. Well done, Good control going out into the middle now. Potentially needs to switch the ball to the other side. Clear away from the defenders, we're going back into traffic. Good win. Quick burst there going left. Disafano. Looked like he was going to dig the ball through and he has done that. Straight he waited, to waited just a little bit too long I think. I think he was rather second guessing himself. Thrown out wide to the left now. Slow driver forward. The game seems to be slowing down just slightly with a couple counter attacks here and there, but the pace of the overall field has slowed down. Maybe you can you can you can feel that mood with the weather. Indeed. Maybe that's affecting the players a little bit mentally. Thrown in. I will say I will be looking forward to a nap this afternoon <laughs> with this weather. I'm sure some of them would appreciate the same. Gone left now. Good strength there. Disafano out wide now. Double touch on the ball, lovely pass. Crossed in. Again, the more deflections off the Chapel Hill defenders. They just can't seem to get the ball through. Fifty seconds left, just under. Long throw, good header. 
for McPherson. Thrown in. Well done. Good ball forward, but nothing's come back. Good tackle from De Stefano. Dangerous play. And he seems to have won the free kick there. Trippier sort of came in and took his legs out just slightly as he was clearing the ball forward. So that'll be a state free kick. Steven Sizemore to put the ball in. Definitely looking for a ball into the back post, perhaps. <coughs> oh, he's gone rather direct to the back post. Oh, keepers caught that. No problem. The kick itself, reasonable. Maybe a bit too far, close to the goalkeeper, but, you know, nothing really complaining. That is half time, ladies and gentlemen. 1 nothing UNC. 1 nothing UNC. State with zero. Unfortunate first half for them, statesmen there, but they'll be alright. I'm sure the second half will prove promising with the rest of the game to come. Indeed. In, in well. Hi, welcome back. I'm Nathan White Ingram and this is Tyler Counts. We're here up a method field at NC State University at the halftime of the NC State versus UNC Chapel Hill men's club soccer match and so far it's been a, been a tough match for both teams lots of high intensity Chapel Hill has managed to put one goal away uh, by Matthew Messi it was a it was a decent goal nice, nice lightly hit ball into the back of the net didn't see much effort from the goalkeeper and um, the defenders weren't necessarily on top of their game but uh, what are you expecting for the second half Tyler? Well you know I'm expecting UNC to continue their attack um, maybe even play back a little bit but from NC State's side they've got to get up on the ball they've got to find a way to get the ball into the back of the net and through that defense. Yeah and as we have we have mentioned multiple times throughout the game the Chapel Hill defenders are very strong they seem to be defending well and making all the blocks whenever they needed to and they seem to be unable to penetrate the state players and that's just that's unfortunate for them, and they you know, have tried multiple things, shooting from distance. Um, as we can see, the, the field conditions aren't necessarily fantastic for doing so, is that the grass is short and it's difficult to get underneath the ball for that, but, you know, I think if they just keep it up, they can possibly put the ball in the back of the net and we'll have a bit more of a game in our hands. Indeed. I agree with that. All right, we'll, uh, we'll be back soon. Thank you. Thank you. Potbelly, everything you find is a little bit happier, sweeter, fresher, groovier, and yummier. Why? Because at Potbelly, we know it's never enough to just eat lunch. You gotta feed your smile. Swing by for our new turkey club, handcrafted to make you smile. Locally owned and operated by an NC State graduate, the Red and White Shop is your one-stop shop for all things Wolfpack. Located in the Ridgewood Shopping Center off of Wade Avenue, the Red and White Shop recently expanded from 2,400 to 5,400 square feet. Whether you're in need of tailgating essentials, decals and magnets, home goods, apparel for people of all ages, or sporting goods, the Red and White Shop has it all. Stop by today for your NC State needs. And we're live. Welcome back to the second half of NC State Men's Club Soccer versus the UNC Chapel Hill Men's Club Soccer. It's a one nothing lead so far for Chapel Hill. And uh, we are hoping that we have a bit more action in the second half. It's sort of a less, well it was a very intense game so far, but not necessarily one filled with lots of skill and, you know, nothing necessarily very nice to watch. But the goal itself was a, was a nice dink. Nothing too special, but... Nice and soft shot volley into the top left corner. As we're moving forward now, NC State have the ball on the left flank now. Scarlet Dove, ball forward. Can they win it? No, Chapel Hills won the ball there. Picked up by the centre defender there. Steven Sizemore trying to find the ball out. Matthew Messi picks up the ball, goes wide with it. Again, still dribbling the ball around. His last name does not deceive. <laughs> Claiming for a foul there. Nothing there from the referee. Oh, that's a bit, bit dangerous there. State players, but nothing has come from that. Oh, now it's a foul. Both teams need to calm down just for a second. Frustration is starting to mount for NC State. Yeah, you know, two minutes into the second <laughs> two half. Two minutes into the second half and uh, already a bit of, a bit of rough and tumble there. <clears throat> Luckily, no rain yet. I'm knocking on imaginary wood. I don't have anything around me, but um, <laughs> I do hope that the rain stays away for the remainder of this game. 
Ball's gone in. A big ball. And that's straight out. And is it bouncing over the fence? And it's gone. <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> And thank you to my co-commentator, Tyler Counts, throwing the ball forward <laughs> for the replacement ball. There'll be a goal kick now, Fantasy State. My arm's Balls a little forward. sore now. Size I've not more. thrown a soccer ball in a while. <laughs> Out to the wing now. Just Shut shame. down quickly. Good turn. Can he get it? Doing well to keep the ball to his feet. Nice strength. Again. Ball all the way back. Ball forward. Nicely lofted ball. Sky Love can't quite get the ball there. Good defending from Trivia. Thrown in. The wind seems to be picking up now though. Maybe that will affect the, uh, the gameplay. Maybe they'll decide to get the ball on the ground a bit more. It's going to affect the temperature as well. It's going to get a yeah, lot colder. It feels a lot colder for sure, yeah. Oof. Messi. Good pass out wide. Durham. Ball in. Oh, no one quite there. Unfortunate there for Chapel Hill. Here I wing Adam Cosgrove could not quite reach the ball on that cross to maybe put it back in or have a strike on goal. It'll be NC State goal kick now. Really sure we brought a jacket out here. <laughs> I'm sure we all wish we had a bit, bit, bit many more layers on, for sure. Ball forward, nice left footed ball up the field, won by Trippier. Ball back forward again. So battle for the ball, gone, oh, flicked out of the way. Again the defenders for Chapel Hill are doing well to stop the attacks. Mm. Whatever NC State seems to throw at them, they manage to hold it up and stop. Can he look for a switch now? Joey Disafano lingering here on that right side. Ready for that crosser. Moving forward now, good pass through. Aaron Odder back in the middle. Split down now, good ball in. Good dribbling as well. That's another great tackle. Seems to be out for a, a corner kick for NC State. Seems to be a few claims for a foul from the uh, state bench, but seems all good there. Joey DeSerfino is going to be taking this corner. Can he whip it in? Decent corner. Flicked on. Ooh, looks like that'll be a goal kick. I was expecting a bit more, bit more contestion, but it's all right. Shows they are, they are willing to, to do what it takes to, to get a goal. It's a good, good attempt for sure. Up. Ball forward. Lots of backspin on that one. So you can get underneath the ball enough. Ball out wide. Good decision to pass the ball back to Stefano. <laughs> Trying to put the ball back into to Oda. Out wide. Good overlapping run. From the older of the Stefano brother. A lot, a lot of tackles there. I wasn't too sure about the way the referee called that, but the referee's word is the last word, the word that counts. It'll be a Chapel Hill kick. Limping away there from that tackle. Jesse Ball for NC State. Kneeling, and it looks like he'll be substituted off as an injured player. <coughs> Bit of confusion there. Come on the field now, Elio Domingos, Fancy State, number six. Ball forward, does a no good header, controlled on the wing. Not quite, pass the ball back, sort of giving the ball away there. Trying hard to win the ball back, Chapel Hill still with the ball. Changing possession multiple times, Durham. Whoops it in. Ball in, 
Nothing's come from that. Good clearance. Played right out. Yep. Chap will throw. Ball's gone forward. Good little pass there. Very cheeky. Dribble inside. Can they get it out? And that's come out. That's still in, actually. Safino is the last header. Good little stab. Delaying that attack just a little bit. Back here. Gone forward. Nice big ball. Good win in the air. Strong tackle. Scarlet Dove trying hard to work his way back to out on the wing. De Safino completely trumped there in the air. A good win in the air of the Chapel Hill player there. On the right flank now. Decision to go forward with the ball is strong, but flicked on there. Chapel Hill now have possession. Passed out wide. Good turn, and that's come nothing. Unfortunate there for number two, Adam Cosgrove, to the right wing for Chapel Hill. Ball across. Again, I think being more direct like this, Tyler, is not necessarily the right decision for either team. Nothing much is coming from these long balls. Indeed. They go so direct to the centre forward, who seems to be controlled and you know marked by at least two defenders at all times. Just focus on some clever build-up. Yep. <coughs> I think some good passes would be definitely very important. Just keeping it simple. As often uh, many coaches say, using those triangles, which are often referred to. <laughs> Gone out wide now. Just a fino. Ball back to him. Ball in. Seemed to cut almost go all the way through. I think if he just left that and flicked it on, it would have been more eventful. But now Chapel Hill moving forward. Bit of speed here. Lost it early. State now moving forward. Can they counter? Has a shot. Flicked off by the Chapel Hill defender. I'm not sure if the goalkeeper had that covered or not. I can't tell from my angle. It but nevertheless, like he probably did. He, he probably the, he did. Dove as soon as that they seem to have struck. a decent amount of power, but not too much. Very good block there, number 21, Rob Atkinson. We're having an NC State corner. Yep. Looks like uh, Arenado will put the ball in. What can come of this? Ball in, a bit gone f f near post there. Nothing has come out of that really, except a mistake throw in. Good control there from the Chapel Hill goalkeeper, barking out his orders, thrown in. Seems to be held there on the arm. Manages to get the ball in. And caught by the goalkeeper again. He's been pretty good so far today. He has. Yep. He definitely has not struggled snatching the ball out of the air. Good pass forward. Durham. Good tackle from Disafino. Looks to be a handball. The referee's called. Chapel Hill kick. Did not seem that intentional. Surprised it was called. No, yeah. Sometimes these referees, though, they have their own opinions of what's what. Ah, that was a nasty tackle. From number 10, Connell Gallagher. Dangerous challenge. And the ref's allowed play to continue now. Good stop by Sizemore. Ball back in the middle now. It's a Fino. And that's still in. Even though the call for out of bounds, now it's out. <laughs> Quick throw in here from. Taking a little while. From three. Number three, Stephen Ryan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it'd be quick, but no, it took too long. Ball in the middle now. It looks like. Good turn, Messi out wide now. Joey DeSerfino may have gotten elbowed in the head. Flipping around a little bit. Got on the ball long. Can he control it? He's got help behind him. Good drop back to DeSerfino. Looks forward. Can he make the right decision? Well done, bringing the ball to the middle. Interesting touch. I like the passing now. This is what we want to see. Nice connection between the players. Nice triangles. Ball forward, given away by Sizemore. Dribbling forward quickly. Cosgrove inside. Back to him. Couldn't quite do it. Scarlet Dove, well done to win the ball there. Aaron Under now trying his best to get by the Chapel Hill defenders, but again, they are so strong and determined at stopping the ball from moving forward. Being passed around the back now. Messi. Ball seems to be going out wide. Durham now on the ball. Got a decision to go in or out. 
Seems to be a little confused. Pass the ball out now, that's still in. No, no. And the uh, linesman has called it out. Let's have now for NC State. Come on the field, uh, Justin McPherson and uh, Drew De Drew De Yep. Yeah. Off the field, Skyler Dove and uh, Jonah Mulligan will be coming off. Ball in now. Joey DeSavino. Ball in. Somehow can control the ball there. Done well to hold it there. Well done there, DeSavino. Okay. Still can't quite get the ball through. We've gone out wide now. An attempt to put the ball in, perhaps. Having trouble. Ooh, seems to be almost a foul, but cleared out now by the statesman. The intensity is definitely high, still with the 22 minutes left in the game. Thrown in. Good move past him. Great block there by DeSurfino. Out for the corner. We've got some substitutions. Yep. Richard Wright coming on the field now. Defensive substitution. He was pretty decent early on in the game. Let's hope he can keep that standard up. Ball in. Well done from the goalkeeper, keeping that in his hands. Thrown in. Moving forward now. Cleared out. Picked up now by the state defender. Moving forward with the ball. Messi having trouble there. Chabot will still have the ball somehow. Couldn't quite get by him. Well done there. Big strong man, Richard Wright. Drew Safano, good ball forward. Ooh. Can he do something with it here? Lost his footing almost. Being sandwiched by two Chabot Hill defenders, still fighting hard for that ball. And see State having difficulty coming out with the possession there. Again, still they're trying very hard to win the ball in the final third, but just can't quite nick it off the defenders. Oh, Joey just if you know with a bad touch, but he kept it in somehow. He kept it towards his own player. He's lost it. Matthew Messi now with the ball. Forward of Chapel Hill onto the left. Adam Cosgrove. Slowly moving forward. Good ball through, penetrating the defenders. And uh, nothing's come from that. The goalkeeper has the ball now. Need to find some some options now. Got that wide to Drew Disafino. Back to him in the middle. Looking for perhaps a switch to the other Disafino brother. Working those triangles well. Having trouble getting the ball through. A great defending from Chapel Hill there. Referee's blown his whistle, that'll be a state free kick. <laughs> Having trouble getting out there, and that looks like that'll be the referee's bonus whistle quite furiously, walking over to the players there, seeming to calm them down, getting in between the state and the Chapel Hill player. Ball, the ball's got to be cleared! Talking them down, that was Drew DeSafino and uh, Trippier. No. Both players just got a yellow. Yep. <laughs> as a substitution spy, as a laughing because they think this is just a scrimmage. But referee has to, you know, enforce the rules of the game. Yeah. yeah. So if they were going to fight, Trippier, just so yeah. who would you have taken? I would not encourage any of it. <laughs> I mean, neither do I, but still. <laughs> Set it up! is not necessarily the tallest or the biggest. That is true. Man, we know. Very, very true. Not the scariest. He's more of a gentle person when you start talking to him. <laughs> what will happen from this ball here? 
played in, lofted high. Def headed out by the Chapel Hill player. Press, Matt. State have the ball. Well done, it's well done, Matt. Well done. Good decision to pass over back to Di Safino. He's got everything in the in his palm of his hands now. Ball forward. Jo Drew Di Safino now. Having trouble keeping possession. <laughs> Ball's gone forward and nothing of that. That'll be a goal kick for Chapel Hill. Two substitutions coming on now. Number five and number four. That'll be Holly Ruland. The other name we do not have on our roster, so unfortunately I can't say it. <laughs> Coming off the field though, uh, number 13, Olin Wilson, and number two, Adam Cosgrove. So again, attacking substitutions. Do you think perhaps they're going to go for a, for a second goal, or they're just going to continue to hold their one nothing lead, Tyler? I, uh, you know, it's a little hard to tell, but you try to just pad that lead from UNC, probably go for that other goal. At least if I was playing, I would. State throw in. <clears throat> but State really does need to get a goal here quickly. To try to just make this game go, try to level this out at a draw. Mm -hmm. I think yep. the win is out of reach at this point, unless a miracle happens. Well, <laughs> there's 17 <laughs> you minutes have to left. believe, you know. There have been stories of five goals in a couple minutes. So it's true. It's possible. We have seven, 17 minutes left now. Seems to be a lot of pulling there on the State shirts. Surprised that it was not. Yeah, I was called for. Kind of, called. kind of expecting the whistle to be blown. Move forward, a strike on goal, and that's a deflection. Going out for a corner. Goalkeeper seemed to have it covered, though. Mm -hmm. Sure did. This keeper has been very, very, very good today. Now their, their corner kick so far, most of them have seemed to be a lofted in. I haven't seen a driven one yet or anything special, just sort of a normal lofted in corner. I don't think he's going to have come of it either, so perhaps time to change. But no, they're going for a lofted corner again. Nice curled in. Keeper having trouble this time, but he's kept it out. Drew Disafina with the ball. In the corner, oh, that's a good tackle there. Very strong defending from the Chapel Hill player. And here comes the rain. And that's what we didn't want to happen. The skies do not look nice, let me tell you that. Ball in. Headed out. Attempt over the bar. Especially when you're hitting a volley like that, you've got to come from above the ball or equal with it for it to stay on its true course. Substitutions now. Um, Seem to be a goalkeeper change, and at number 24, Nick Mill is coming on the field. Is this perhaps a very confident move to sub your goalkeeper off? You know, with 15 minutes left in the game, we'll find out shortly. Yep, you know, strong goalkeeper we had on the field, so Justin Heiser, I mean, he's been very consistent, so we'll see what happens here. Mm. And that's gone out. So state throw. Ball's gone behind us, so it might be a couple of seconds before we get the ball back. Substitutions on now. Aaron Odder for NC State. And a Jesse Ball coming on the field. Touch back. Disafino, good touches there. Ball's gone all the way back to Richard Wright. Having trouble there controlling the ball. And now he's gained control. Ball's gone forward long. Good control there from number three. Stephen Ryan for Chapel Hill. That was a potential handball there. Call out from Chapel Hill players. Ball's gone forward though. Richard Wright controlling the ball. He's got, got him out wide. Controls the ball still. Good pass. Finding a way out of those situations is very difficult sometimes, especially with such pressure and being so uh, close to home, your own net. Got pressure there. Chapel Hill doing well to win the ball. Moving forward with good speed. Can't quite get by. They still have the ball though. Body to body. And that's a foul. I was hoping for a potential advantage there from the referee, but he's he's gone with the decision to maintain control of the game maintain control of the game and blow his whistle. Yeah, that'll be a nice little uh, free kick here from UNC. Yeah, it's decent range. Seems quite far away, but in reality, all he only has to do is put the ball back where the penalty spot is for his team to stand a fighting chance for scoring. This rain definitely will not help either. 
ball in, stays sort of low, blocked out. Di Safino, good pass forward, good decision instead of just hoofing it. That's a fantastic tackle. His state throw, thrown in. Jawe with the ball, trying to win the ball there, State, but can't quite do it. Passing the ball around the back here. Good tackle, good strength. State moving forward, the ball. Can he put a ball in on frame? Oh, not quite. Good defending again. Chapel Hill still being as strong as they have been all game in the back. Substitutions now. Number six, Lil Justin, as it is on this roster. Uh, nine, Jack Keeman. And number 25 is coming on the field. And uh, based on this roster, the name is... Uh, Last name's Cheeks. Uh, yep. So, State have two players here waiting to come on as well. Patrick Bailey and uh, Ben Nichols. Good job. Headed out there. Ball back in. Keeper struggling to win the ball. That could be potential for her. Not quite. Still fighting for the ball, both teams. No one seems to have possession. Scrolling around there. The goalkeeper seems to pick the ball up. Sun is starting to peek through the clouds to our, yep. to our left. west, left, same difference. <laughs> Thankfully, maybe some warmth will come as well. Perhaps the rain has, has had its had its last bit. Ball out now. Did Chapel just Hill check throw. a compass. I was correct it by was saying west. west. <laughs> it is west from us, <laughs> thankfully. Trying to weave the ball forward, can't quite do it. Ball seems gone out, out. lots of deflections there. Let's see State subbing now. On the field, as I mentioned, Ben Nichols and... Um, <laughs> Patrick Bailey will come on the field now, <clears throat> thrown in. Good control of Jesse Ball. Disafino. Troll, that's bounced off, I think, everyone on the field. <laughs> Almost bounced off us. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate there from uh, number seven, McPherson. Couldn't quite control the ball there. Unfortunate for him. Thrown in from Chapel Hill. Disafino attempted for the header, but couldn't quite do it. And he's now karate kicked out in the air. Brought down, headed on by McPherson. Wins the ball in the midfield. Odder now. Ball out wide. And that's off a Chapel Hill defender. Yeah, Number three, Stephen Ryan. It does look like the rain is still coming down right now. But very light. Joey, Disafino passes the ball. Jesse Ball doing a good job of controlling that midfield pass. This from wing to wing for State. Trying to get the ball through there to Drew Disafino. Couldn't quite do it. That acceleration is very nice to see. Quick pace, as we mentioned earlier. Indeed. Pass the ball back now. Having trouble swinging the ball, just Drew Josefino seems to have knocked him down. Play goes on. Jesse Ball, good ball out wide. Justin McPherson. Aaron Otter couldn't quite get there. Now G Joey Josefino. Jesse Ball again. Trying to get that through. Couldn't quite now. Josefino with the ball. Otter. Otter. Finds Jesse Ball again. Good ball split down the middle. Lovely play. Almost through on goal. The ball's come out now. Patrick Bailey struggling to move through those ranks. But he was very close to, to, to being successful. And I think if he had been, these last eight minutes would have been completely different. Jesse Ball. Ball back to Richard Wright. He's gone long forward. He's been doing that quite consistently all game. He's quite accurate with those long balls. He did find Drew Disafino on the wing. Now he's put a ball in through. Justin McPherson challenges the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper 
is not going to accept that challenge as he catches the ball in the air very easily. Thrown out wide. Potential handball there, call there from the NC State bench. Nothing for the referee. And now it's a foul though, the other way. Chap Hill kick. Slightly overly aggressive from Joey Disavino there, the right back. We'll be honest and not see where the foul occurred. But obviously the ref probably saw something call different. Ref's call is the ref's call, you know, can't argue with it. Ball's gone forward. Good attempt there to head the ball out. High press again from the Chapel Hill players. Headed back to the goalkeeper very nicely. Ball's got out wide now. And forward, Juju Safino can't quite eat the ball in. And there'll be substitutions. The entire line of people in front of us will be going on the field now. <laughs> Couldn't quite see much for a second. I'm not going to bother to say all their names because that's so many numbers and people's names. So just remember, I just yeah. <laughs> going onto the field, getting mixed in with everybody but coming else. Coming off here, NC State is uh, Jesse Ball. The rain is still coming down. Yeah, it looks very light. I'm not sure if it can necessarily affect the camera's view, but um, not necessarily affecting ours. You can see straight through it, so that's nice. <laughs> Good strength there, it'll be a goal kick for NC State. Substitution now. Justin McPherson coming off now. The Scarlet Dove on the field. The ball's gone short from the goal kick. Gone inside now. Pressured again very quickly. Gone back out to Richard Wright. Can he keep the ball in? Done well. Moving forward. And that's out. Unfortunate. Chabot Hill throw now. In the final third. <laughs> Doing well to weave it through there. Good defending. Decent clearance, but it only reaches far as another Chapel Hill player. Cosgrove on the wing. Going straight back into traffic, and that has not proved beneficial, but it seems to have actually in the end because it's a handball call from the referee. I'm not sure if I would have given that one myself, but fair and square, that's how the way it goes, you know? <coughs> Quickly taken, nice and short. Can't quite get the ball in, still has it though. He's got a couple options. Well, State very close to him though. Good tackle. It's a great tackle yeah. <laughs> from Ben Nichols. Lovely slide. Pinging around again. Well, we end up seeing a second Carolina goal in this game. Not sure, but they're, they're definitely moving forward as if they want one for sure. Answering my earlier question about it. And that's a goal kick for NC State. Just five minutes left now in the second half. It's feeling very cold. Mm -hmm. I can say that one again. And I'm wearing long trousers and a long jacket, so I'm fearing for these boys on the field, even though they are running around in their short sleeves and shorts. Only five more minutes to go, though. Good pass there, Otter now going forward, trying to find Isafino. Can he reach at that pace, as we've mentioned multiple times? Almost served him. Well, that's gone out for a goal kick. The rain seems to have picked up more now. Just slightly, and the wind is blowing at sort of a diagonal angle. Luckily, not much left longer is, in this game. It is raining sideways here, folks, <laughs> up here at Upper Method Fields. It's coming in from underneath our tent and the besides. Joey DiSofino now. Ball into the middle. Good turn. Keeping the ball. Done well to keep them in the ball there. State with the ball, can they go forward? Not quite. Joey Josefino with the ball. Hey, can I get a video of my goal? Yes. Strike on goal. Ah, it's gone well wide. That'll be a Chapel Hill goal kick with just over three minutes to go. I'm sniffling now with this goal. <laughs> Goal kicks attempt to go long, but it's only reached about halfway between the half and the, the penalty box there. And back to the other end. 
And that's a poor clearance out. State trying hard to get the ball out now. It's rather scrappy. Same sort of thing happened at the end of the first half. Now it's a NC State free kick. They really have to think about some tactical changes at the moment. Something just finished the game off, especially with the change in, t in the weather as well with all this rain. Make it slightly more slippy. Ball forward, gone long with Scala Dove. Can he reach it? Ah, well he reached it in distance wise, but could not quite find the ball. That's good defending from Chapel Hill. Balls have been taken quickly out wide now. Trying to go down the wing. And all the way down to the other end again. Just over two and a half minutes in this game. Up in the air, Cosgrove wins it. Goes wide. Ball's gone forward. Trying hard to keep possession as they're moving forward very quickly. NC State, they seem to have numbers. They, indeed they do. Still going through. Oh, that's not good enough. Not going to get through those defenders. Back they're very wall. disciplined. That back wall is very strong. Gone wide all the way. Scala Dove. Can he put the ball in again? He's got Aaron Otter in the box. Oh, good defending again. That'll be a state throw in. Referee's blowing his whistle. Looks like there'll be a substitution for an injury. Number 13. Olin Wilson is coming off. Number 15 is coming on. Number 25 is coming on. Apologies. Thrown in. Headed out again. Scarlet up fighting for the ball. This rain is picking up now. Ball's gone long. Just over a minute left. Striving forward. The Chapel players ball across, but that's safe hands from the goalkeeper. Ball thrown forward. It's got Scarlett on the wing. Goes for the pass. Have they got another chance in this last minute now? Trying hard to get forward, but he's lost the lost the ball and possession there. Chapel throw. Forty-seven seconds left now. Thrown in. Good win there. State of the ball again. Having trouble to win the ball. Somewhat game possession, and that's ping pong again, back and forth. Not much control at this point. This rain has definitely changed the way the game's been played. Sort of a last ditch of effort now from State. Good battle between the two, shoulder to shoulder. Chapel seem to have the ball still. They still have possession. They've only really got one decision here to get rid of it, but they haven't done so. Back into the box again. And that's come out now with eight seconds left. Not much left, but the State boys are not giving up. And that's out. And that referee seems to be adding one more minute to this time. <laughs> We now have a few Chapel Hill players crowding under our tent as this rain is picking up. The estate throw. Scarlet Dove with the throw in. Good throw. Joe DiSafino trying to get through players. Can't quite do it. Chapel Hill come out with the ball. Stopped there by Sizemore. Ball forward. Richard right now. Good header. Superb defending, but that's only going to slow things down. <laughs> Ball thrown forward. Good attempt to win the ball there, but they're moving forward still. Good tackle there from the defender. Coming out with the ball. Goes long as his only decision. And the referee has blown the final whistle. That is your NC State Wolfpack men's club soccer team lost to the UNC Chapel Hill club soccer team. 1-0. Bit of miserable end to this game. And we thank you all for watching. We'll catch you next time owned and operated by an NC State graduate, the Red and White Shop is your one-stop shop for all things Wolfpack. Located in the Ridgewood Shopping Center off of Wade Avenue, the Red and White Shop recently expanded from 2,400 to 5,400 square feet. Whether you're in need of tailgating essentials, decals and magnets, home goods, apparel for people of all ages, or sporting goods, the Red and White Shop has it all. Stop by today for your NC State needs. I was diagnosed at 65.
37, earlier than most. Every nine minutes, someone is diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And every one of them can turn to the American Parkinson Disease Association. Visit APDAparkinson.org to learn more and show your support today. Oh, hey, bud. Where, uh, where are you headed? Uh, just gonna hang out. With Gary and Todd? Yeah. I've been meaning to ask you, is there any drinking going on in this crowd? No. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I'd do anything to keep you safe. Okay, I will. I hope this is working. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Hey, Wolfpack. We are here at the end of the game of NC State club men's soccer team to the UNC club men's soccer team was a loss for the Wolfpack today, 1-0, but the Wolfpack outfit uh, player of the game for us was Richard Wright, the centre back for NC State. He was strong the entire game, tried very hard, hit some good long balls that helped the attack. Unfortunately, couldn't convert anything for them, but thank you very much for watching. We're Nathan Whitingham. Thank you very much. <laughs>